Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend, Allie, and she is going to talk to us about her dance journey and dancing for Delaware. So Allie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi guys, I'm Allie. I'm a senior at the University of Delaware. I'm currently majoring in marketing and business analytics. Um, I grew up in North Jersey, so like about two and a half hours away um, and have been dancing my whole life. I love it. I love it. So kind of walk us through, you know, you said you've been dancing your whole life. So start from the beginning. Where did you start? Studio, dance, high school dance, all the things where, and then how did, how did it get you to where you are now? Yeah. So um, I started when I was three years old, my parents put me in pre-K little ballet classes um, and I absolutely loved it. They wanted me to try a couple other things. So I was, you know, soccer, softball, all that stuff. Um, but when I was cartwheeling and twirling around in the softball field, they were like, nope, dance is the one. Um, so I and learned everything there is to know. I got the opportunity really to from there position to Delaware I always knew I wanted to be on a college dance team um and this was the one for me I love it so talk to us a little bit about why specifically Delaware over college xyz or you know college this college that yeah, so I was looking into a lot of different schools. I didn't totally know where I wanted to end up. Um, so I went to a lot of clinics. They have a lot of interest things. You know, you try it out, see if you like it. Um, and I totally did not expect Delaware. A lot of people from my school go there. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It's a little close for me. Um, but I went down there and I absolutely loved it. Um, all of the dancers were so nice. The team was so nice. Um, the coaching staff was amazing. And I went down and I really felt the family atmosphere, which I feel like is so unique for Delaware and for a lot of dance teams to have that. Um, and I felt it immediately from all the girls. And as soon as I came home, I remember telling my dad in the car ride, like, oh, Delaware's the one. I love it. I love it. So talk to us about how you prepped for auditions for Delaware. So I was prepping for auditions during COVID, which made my experience a little bit unique. Um, we were kind of online for dance classes um, and everything kind of shut down. So I didn't know where to start, um, but my dance studio offered some online classes with staff that we had. Um, we kind of did Zoom, things like that. So that's how I kept myself prepped. And then I also, you know, while we were at home, started the at-home workout videos, trying to keep myself in shape, audition ready, because I knew I had to audition for I kind of kept that goal in mind as I was sitting in lockdown to keep myself productive. Yeah. Yeah. So talk to us, you know, you're on the team now, obviously. So talk to us about the most difficult part about being a collegiate dancer. Yeah. Um, a lot of being a collegiate dancer is really great. Um, I think the most challenging part would be time management. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of practices and there are a lot of lifts and events and things like that, um, you know, that we have to do outside of just getting to dance and perform um, and trying to fit that in, you know, when you're a student and you have so many other opportunities available, trying to, you know, explore college and things like that. It gets a little tough, but, you know, going through studio and having practice for four or five hours after school really, you know, gets you used to it and gets you prepared. Yeah, absolutely. And then on the flip side, talk to us about your favorite part about being a collegiate dancer. Oh, my favorite part is the people. Everyone here is so amazing. And getting to work with the girls that I've gotten to work with over the past four years has been an absolute dream. Um, they have made me a better dancer, a better teammate, so many things. Um, and they're really such great people that I have loved to get to know being on the team. And we always kind of say, you know, the coach picks our best friends for the next four years. And it really is true. Everyone here is so amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for our final question, um, one piece of advice that you would give to a girl who is auditioning for a collegiate dance team this year? Yeah. Um, so I think it's you have to bring to the table. So to get out of your college experience and your college dance team experience and just know that there's definitely a team out there for you. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much, Allie, for coming on and, you know, giving us some of your insight and knowledge into the dance world. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And I'll see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.